The fifth key in love, life, and miracle, it's tuning into the field. And I think the more I study, the less I understand it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's wonderful to tune it to the to that energy field. We started, you know, with Einstein, but we've gone so much further now. And initially, the Greeks thought that the atom was the yeah, end all, was the smallest part of matter. And when I was in Switzerland, they found uh, what they call the Higgs bosons, and it was in August two thousand twelve. And they say that is the initial. That's what makes matter. Oh, you know, they think it's going to revolutionize it, it's what, physics. It's what gives matter mass. The Higgs boson is what gives matter mass. Exactly, yeah. Some people call it the God particle. <laughs> and I've read about it in a book that was written like 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And that eventually it was going to be discovered. Mm -hmm. So I'm fascinated by that. Yeah. And, you know, it's a totally different playing field. All of a sudden you go to this different dimension and nothing makes sense. And then you kind of get it. And <coughs> so it's, I'm reading a book right now. I forgot the name of the book. But it talks about the uh, you know Eastern mysticism. Mm -hmm. They already knew about it, but they they go to a point where they don't have the words and they have to use some kind of metaphors or poetry because you have the quantum field. You have to experience it. You cannot really describe it. And so, on the other hand, the Western uh, Western thought and science get to the same point scientifically. They have the formula, but they can't explain it. They can use words. Words just don't don't convey the quantum field. Again, both sides, the Eastern and the Western, you have to experience what it is to be in that quantum field. You know what cymatics is? The study of visible sounds and vibrations. I I, I didn't know it was called that. Cymat. Okay. So they put some sand or some salt on a plate and they have a speaker underneath and depending on the frequencies it makes different patterns so sounds make patterns and you can you know watch different thing on youtube and also i don't you know who greg braden is yes okay have you seen the the clip where he shows a, a bladder tumor that yeah. disappears. I actually had the opportunity to see him and, and meet him in person. So I saw him speak and met him in person. And yeah, I, I, so I am very familiar with him. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got, I put that in a little YouTube clip saying, you know, I got that. This is where we are going towards is that, you know, in three minutes you have a tumor that disappears. And people are saying, I want to go to China. Where is that hospital? They can do something for me. But, you know, there's much more to it. But I think we're going you know, towards that. Have you seen the movie, What the Bleep? Yes, I have. Do you remember, what was her name, Amelia or something? Um, her name is, oh, hold on. I know her brother personally, Madden. Oh, wow. And, um, yes, I, I Marley, to... Matt, Marley. I forgot her name. Anyway, there is that sequence where she's watching somebody throw a ball in a basket. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, basketball and when she watches the kid he has a ball and goes you have one ball that goes in the basket mm -hmm. and then she turns around and you see all the balls mm -hmm. and you have a multitude of possibility mm -hmm. and to me what they did in china is these doctors know and choose to focus on one possibility which is healing they know how to focus their mind and that's why that the tumor disappears so quickly now, eventually, we'll get it here in the Western world, but um, in the meantime, we do what we can. And the same thing with water. And again, I think I got that from Greg Braden or some other places. Water droplets, listening to water, mm -hmm. and they change yeah, very their, uh, their shape. And we are 70% water. True. And you're probably familiar with uh, the work of Emoto. No, I don't know no, Emoto. Masaru Emoto? No. No, oh, he has several books. What happened is as he was freezing water, he realized they were doing different crystals. Ah. They throw in different patterns. And when you have beautiful emotions like love 
and thankfulness, it made beautiful patterns. Yeah. And when uh, you did, you know, you were angry or what is it? Or before prayer or polluted water had awful patterns. Mm -hmm. So he has, you just go on Google and you're going to see hundreds of different patterns. And we are made of water mostly. Mm -hmm. So whether we feel in love with ourselves or angry with ourselves, that water takes different shape. Mm -hmm. And depending what shape it is, it can hurt us, make us, you know, elated. Masaru Imoto, what is the name of his book? I'll find them after. I'll send you an email. But yeah. Hmm. I've got two of his, his book, but just go and Google the Masaru Imoto and water, and it's beautiful crystals. I remember one, he also had water listen to music, mm. and the music, the, the water does not like hard rock, yeah. it could make strange yeah. patterns. Huh. But Tango, it would make a, a water crystal like two, two things together. Huh. Interesting. And then they did, I had a client of mine who, she was Japanese, she actually worked with them, where they would take some water from a very polluted lake, mm -hmm. they would pray over that water and then release the water in the lake. And little by little, the lake would clear itself mm -hmm. and detox itself. So I think there's going to be some wonderful things happening in the world. There's all kind of garbage happening, but I think there is also very, very good, good things happening. Mm -hmm. So the reason I put all these testimonials is because, you know, energy level up, losing 15 pounds, energized, uh, sex life restored, Stephanie gone. It seems like, you know, so many different things. I'm not a jack of all trade, but it's like a Swiss knife. <laughs> the only thing I work with is energy. And food is energy. Emotion is energy. So if I can help people shift their energy, then they change, you know, like we did, we said before, when you change your energy, you can do it on your own, you change your destiny. Mm -hmm. 